Yo, what's going on YouTube? Big P in the house and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so for today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to claim back your lost account or your scammed account. And, you know, I receive a lot of um, complaints. I receive a lot of requests asking me, Hey, Big P, can you give me free account? I just lost my account. I got scammed by these people. Oh my God, I'm going to give up playing OPBR. Why there are so many evil in this world, Big P? Help me, please, Big P, help me no if you want a free account create one yourself because it is easy or if you don't want to create your uh, own free account you want to get your old account back this is how you should do it so there are two steps for it let's get into the first step shall we all right boys so please follow this step one by one so number one go to google and google bandai opbr support as i've stated here Okay, as you can see here as well and usually the first page that will come out is https bnfaq.channel.or.jp so it says one piece bounty rush about support request bandai namco so click this one okay and then uh scroll down okay scroll down and you will see a support form button here in orange color so click on the support button form support form button my bad <laughs> Okay, so inquiry. So, uh, number one category, please select the category that suits your inquiry. So, since we want to uh, claim back our lost account, right? There's nothing uh, about it that says here. So, how to play operate? No nope. purchase contract? No nope. failure bug? No nope. relevant summons? No opinion request? No notification? No as well. So, you answer others. Okay, next is you need to use. Please enter your user ID. Like my user ID is Big P in the game. Uh, sorry, uh, the user ID is when you click on your uh, account, yeah, your your name on the top left corner. Then you will see an ID. So that is your user ID and input uh, it here and your username. So again, like I said, my username is Big P and account ID. So account ID is the one at the main title so again not your home screen but your main title before you enter the home screen and your account id is the 12 alpha numeric characters on top left corner of the game okay at at the main title screen so put that as well and then next is please enter the os and version you are using so os is operating system so you can put if you use ios just put ios and what version if you use android put android and what version okay so i just use for example ios and then version okay for example okay next is um device name please enter the name of the device that you are using so for example i'm using iphone 11 pro max and then uh, application version uh, this one in order for you to get it go to opbr once you click opbr app and once you enter opbr app you will see the at the main title screen at top left corner as well the version of the current app so use that number and put it in okay i can't remember right now so i don't put it and then email address uh, put the email address that you associated your um it's easier if you put the email address that you associated your purchase with so for example if you buy gems if you buy ticket from one piece bounty rush what is the email that you use for that purchase it's easier if you use that email and put it here because it will make things more legit okay and then uh, date and time of occurrence so when did you actually lost your account so put in the date and the time as well roughly when from what you can remember and you don't have to put attachment you can put attachment if you want to up to you but comment here is the most section part so what is your inquiry so just introduce yourself hi i'm paradox don't put hi i'm paradox this is just oops my bad hi i'm big p okay so no, don't put BP, but <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, but put your name, okay? Don't put Big P. Hi, I'm Big P. I just lost my. I just lost my account two days ago. Say for example, two days ago. Um, 
uh, please help uh, and assist me to get slash claim back my account okay and then your kind help is much appreciated you know it's not it, there's nothing wrong to be polite you know what i'm saying so let me just read again hi i'm big p i just lost my account two days ago please help and resist me to get slash claim back my account your kind help is much appreciated you see if you do if you write uh, right uh, if you inquire very sweetly you know ask them properly i'm pretty sure well they are more keen to answer your email fast you know what i'm saying so after you have answered all this click confirm okay and okay so, so since i don't like i don't answer everything that's why it says error but you get what i mean so you need to answer all this part and click on confirm so after you click on confirm banda will send you email that they have received your inquiry and they will answer your questions within three to five days if i'm not mistaken okay so uh this is the first session and let's move on to the second session shall we all right boys so after you have sent your inquiries through the uh, bandai support uh, website uh, you will receive an email from bandai uh, asking you to provide all the information to the questions that they ask okay so uh, it says hello thank you for contacting bandai namco entertainment support we appreciate your effort in submitting your inquiry to us about your concern for us to process your data restoration request we will be requiring information to identify your account all right so they will give you some uh, uh precaution and warnings and after that they will proceed with the question so let's go through the question one by one and anyway, i will try my best to help you to guide you to obtain the information to the question asked the first one is account id so your account id is your um 12 alpha numeric characters in your main title screen so what you have to do is just go to your uh, menu screen and then click return to title screen and after that uh, you click this one and on your top left corner you will see your account number your 12 alpha numeric account id okay so just use that alpha numeric characters and uh, answer this uh, first question all right so next one is your purchase information your purchase information well this one is a bit tricky so what it asks is that you have to give them your order number slash transaction id date and time of purchase the item name and the price without tax and then it says if you did not make any purchases please put the word none in addition to the individual purchase information that we are requesting below please also specify the total amount of purchases that you have made since you started playing the game yep i know it is crazy right so let me teach you how to do it so first you have to go to your gmail and then what you have to do is you just search for one piece bounty rush in your email so if you search for one piece bounty rush you will usually get all the emails regarding the purchases that you have done so usually if you are the legit owner of the account you will have all the information stored like for me i never i've never deleted my emails so the reason why is because for me to assess all this information when i needed to yeah and as you can see here uh it says um i so as you can see here it wants uh, order number transaction id okay uh which you can get here very easily so order number as you can see here which i've already um covered because i can't show it to you guys okay and then date and time of purchase is also there uh very very uh, uh specific they even give you the date time and the exact second the purchase was made and also the item name you can get it from here okay and after that uh the total price without tax all right and then uh let's move on to the next question so then uh number number uh number three it says it asks you date and when you create your account well all right so in order to get uh this information for question three number one you have to know if you if you are the owner legit owner of the account you should know when you started playing right but if you don't remember where did you start playing 
Uh, you can actually roughly get that information by going to daily, click on mission, go to normal, and then scroll down and find the number of your login days. So for my Big P account, uh, it says here that I've been logging in for about 575 days. So you can backtrack, backtrack your login, your first uh, uh, day when you created your account from this information. So say for example, today is, um, I mean, just for example, yeah, today is 1st of April. So when is the date five and 575 days before? Okay, granted that you might not be, you might not be logging in every day because this is your login day. Yeah? So if you log in every day from the day you started playing, then yes, you will get the accurate date. But if you don't log in every day then this information might roughly be wrong but it's okay to use this uh, information but what is important is that you state it in the question you put it in the form of year month and day and then put more information by saying that this is my login days uh, this is my accurate login days but uh, I might not log in every day so my uh, the date that I roughly created my account is this date based on my login day. So you need to put that in your answer so that you need to tell Bandai the information that you convey is based on this kind of data that you have. Okay. All right. Next is question number four. You need to give them all login histories since you started the game, and you need to answer the format in forms of years, month, and day. Two years, month, and day okay so again this is very easy so 575 days before to 575 days after okay so um i don't think you need to put like one by one the date okay i think roughly from when to when and you can get that information from your login days okay so moving on to the next question it says date and time when you last conducted data transfer so usually the person who lost the account is the person who got scammed yeah so you should know rough you should know exactly when you conducted the data transfer because you created a screenshot of it so you can easily get that information there or at, uh, for some of you who don't know what is data transfer so what you do is you go to menu and then click data transfer and after that when you click ok it gives you this screen and when you click issue transfer id after you enter the password it will create a new transfer id together with password for you to use to transfer your account to a new phone or new device so you have to remember that day because i don't do it here but the particular time and day at which you do this process is the answer to this question uh, uh, that, that asks you when uh, was it that you last conducted a data transfer? So you need to answer uh, the question in the format of years, months, days, hours, and minutes. Okay. And then next is your data transfer ID. So this is consists of ten alphanumeric characters. So again, after you create a data transfer ID, uh, uh, if you if you create a, if you click transfer data and then issue transfer ID, put in the password, you will get the transfer ID. So that transfer ID is your 10 alphanumeric characters that you need to put in here. Okay, next is your total amount of uh, rainbow diamonds in your possession. Like for Big P account, my, uh, the, uh, my uh, diamonds, my rainbow diamonds is only 31 units. Okay, and then next is um, most recent characters that you obtain via Scout. And then he says, please provide us with the character's official name and rarity. Okay, so what you have to do is go to character upgrade here. And then uh, from the filter, you need to choose order receive as I've set here. So order receive. And then you can see that my recent character is actually Perona. Okay, and uh, it asks you on the... Uh, uh, characters are rarity so it, it is a four star character so i think if not mistaken four star characters are 
ultra rare right yeah i can't recall but you know when you scout right and then when you get four star character you'll get the rarity if it's a four star then it says like something about ultra rare or whatnot i can't remember right now i need to check back but if you're not mistaken it says ultra rare and that is the rarity of that character uh i think the reason why bandai asked you to state its rarities because they wanted you to give them the four star characters instead of the normal uh three star characters that you always get shafted so that's why and you can determine that easily by order received so the the four star character the latest four star character that you get is based on this and for my big pay account it is perona so you need to answer official name ghost princess perona and ultra rare so it is much easier to determine uh using ultra rare characters using four star characters rather than the uh, normal three star characters that you get shafted a lot okay so yeah i hope you guys understand what i mean by that all right and uh moving on to the next question so it asks you to uh give them the date and time uh of last login hang on let me read this correct did i miss any question most recent characters that you obtained via scout okay yes so the next question is date and time of last login years month day hours and minute so okay you might rem remember the date at which you last log in but you might not remember the time but no problem uh, if you you can just answer this roughly so for example if let's say you log in roughly around 12 noon so just answer 12 noon in uh, in hours and minutes form okay and um, usually if you are the legit owner of the account you should know when you log in okay so there are two situations where you usually lost your account number one you, number one you get you got scam which means once you get scam you should remember roughly when you log in number two is if your account is in your clone app because as you all know clone app might have some trouble and it happens like randomly you don't know like suddenly when you want to log in like yesterday it's fine but today when you want to log in you can't log in anymore okay so yeah in order for you to roughly remember the login date to your clone app so my advice is that for your for all your clone accounts that you created just to log in to get daily rewards or to get the gems right please make sure to have a schedule okay set a schedule so that you can easily know when you log in later if you lost the account like for all my clone accounts i have a specific time at which i log in to collect all the items you know and all the gems so that is how i can track back when i last log in accurately down to hours and minutes of my login time okay next is player name so this one is really simple as well like for my account my name is big p and then uh, it asks you your player's rank so as you can see here very simple as well your account level which mine is at 37 and then next question it asks you consumable items in your possession so it asks you to answer in the forms of item item name plus the amount you possess so this is very easy go to menu and then click on items here so once you click the items you will have all the items that you have in your possession so if you click on any one so like this one i click on boost up trade 2 so that is it, its name and i have about 59 units of it so it's very easy if you screen capture this here and you answer them uh, specifically one by one like you can if you have this information answer all just to show them that you are the legit owner of the account so boost up trade one 168 boost up hp 288 units so all these are your consumable items in your possession okay next is list of items that you have received or claim from your gift box so what you have to do is go to your gift box here and then click give history okay and you will have all the gift that you have claimed together with the date and specific time that you claimed it okay so again if you have this data give them all answer all up to perhaps 10 15 or even 20 items okay all right next is your rainbow diamond locks so what it says here is that kindly state how and when you use your rainbow diamonds please inform us of the most recent one and even give you the example of it so it says the example one rainbow diamond scout and then uh, the year month 
and uh, day that you actually do the scout. So the example is easy. So if let's say you summon for any scout, just uh, and then you need to remember the amount of gems that you use. So usually it is either five or fifty, and then um, put scout. You don't have to put the banner, okay? Uh, obviously, if you put the banner, it is much better because well, it is a more accurate answer, and Bandai loves it. And after that, the date at which you uh, pull the uh, you use the gems or you scout for the banner. Okay, so easy. Next is most recent character level up lock. So character name, level change, and date. So the example is is character name, uh, comma, uh, from what level to what level, comma, and then the date in form of year, month, and day. So, um, so for example, it, for me, if I level up Luffy Taro, use Luffy Taro again. Answer it with their official full name, Land of Wano Luffy Taro instead of just Luffy Taro, and then. Uh, from what level to what level? So usually, if you just unlock the character from your uh, scout, it will be at level sixty. So perhaps it's from one to sixty. Okay. So again, use your logical reasoning. If you unlock them at five star, that will be from one to eighty. All right. And then the date at which you level them up. So if you lost the account very quickly, you should know when you level the character up. Maybe yesterday, maybe two or three days before, up to you. But whatever it is, whenever you level up a character, do screenshot so that you can track back when was the date that you level them up. Just to be prepared for this situation, for this question. Alright, so next is amount of medals in your possession. Please provide at least four different types of medals that you have. So this is very easy. Yes, again, so go to character upgrade, click on medals, and you can click on either one of the menu here. So I just click transfer trade. So it says that you need to provide four different types of medal that you have. So click on the medal, find out the medal name. So like this one is not Do Flamingo medal. Do Flamingo medal is wrong. You need to answer below white medal. Okay, next is scalpel medal and teach medal and lastly ikoku sovereignty medal so that's it those are the four different type of medals that i have on my account and you can use that as answer and if you don't remember it's very easy as well if you know that you have like luffy trio medals you can find out which medal is it ask your friend for their proper name and done so very simple okay next is um amount of cola in your possession so go to exchange and then scroll down here click on cola and you can see in the box there the amount of cola that you have like this one in my case i have about 280 colas okay so next is most recent item consumption log okay so most recent item consumption log is um a bit tough because uh Maybe you can assess it, but for me, I don't know, like right now, when I do this video, I don't know how to assess the most recent item consumption log. But again, usually, logically, the items that you consume are uh, mostly, uh, uh, number one, your EXP op, your uh, boost op, or your skill op. And uh, if you don't know what item that you use, you can easily go to your item section, okay? And then perhaps like check um, what, uh, how to say, like uh, what other items that you might use. So besides your skill ops, besides your uh, boost orb, and yeah, besides all the stuff here, you also might use your fragments every day. Because remember how every day you can go to your exchange store and you can actually claim, use your battle points and claim all these fragments, right? So once you claim the fragment, you already consume the item straight away. So uh, to be honest, if you answer your question using fragments, might be a more accurate one. So like for me, if I go to my um, gift history, you can see that I claim about 10 revolutionary army slash officer koala fragment. Then this is my recent item consumption uh, lock okay so yeah this question is not easy to be honest and just answer logically with what you think you have already used all right so moving on to the next question last item that you claim from exchange 
and it says here that if you can also specify the quantity and the date when you claimed it please do so and they even give you an example for example one item a for 100 item b and the date in the forms of year month and day so again very simple for me i'm a very very um how to say committed player okay uh, and i always exchange my fragments every day so it's very easy so what you go what you have to do is that you need to find out which fragments which uh, character that you uh last claim so like for me i wanted to buy say this one is kyoshiro right so in order to get 10 Kyoshiro fragments. Okay, you need to answer in full. Ten Kyoshiro families slash Bosch napping Kyoshiro fragments. I use two thousand five hundred battle point exchange. Okay, so very easy. So uh, again, the uh, in order to answer the question is ten uh, napping Bosch Kyoshiro blah 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 for two thousand five hundred battle points, and you you need to specify the date as well. Okay, so again, very easy. Next is solo battle, solo battle progress information. So go to battle and then go to solo here. So click solo again, and you can see at the middle there the amount of um, uh, stages that you have completed. Like for me, it is 138 over 150 for heart, and for normal, it's 100. 38 over 150 stages completed as well so yep use that as your answer use this number as your answer 138 over 150 cleared and uh, so usually for serious players they will have all completed already so just answer 150 over 150 cleared okay solo missions cleared okay next question is last online multiplayer game log so you need to give them the answer in terms of in terms of stage date and result so for example if the, your last match was at land of wano so answer land of wano stage and then the date and then either you won or you lose okay so you need to answer that and then next question last season log so please provide your season the season number so like currently uh, the, at the time when I do this video, the season is season 53. So meaning previous season is season 52. And uh, what is the league that you are at? So so right now I'm at S minus. So if you guys at SS if previous season, do put SS. And then you need to put in the ranking as well. So if you're not mistaken, if you are not in SS, you don't have player ranking. So just put nil if you are not in SS. But if you are in SS, you need to put in your ranking. Either accurately is much better, of course. But if you don't remember, just put in roughly top thousand, top two thousand, top five thousand, or whatever. And then, how much is your league score? Well, it is hard. But again, like I said, you need, to, you should know, you need to save all this information. Uh, not that, not that you've known about it to prepare for this question. So, uh, and then uh, next question is your current league and current league. League score like for this case for my account big p i'm at s minus and my league score is 500 all right so that's it those are all the questions that you need to answer in order for you to claim back your loss account so after this don't come to big p don't come to me and say hey big p someone scammed me i lost my account can you give me an account hey big p i just lost my account i can't log in suddenly can you please give me an account no claim your account back yourself i've already teach you i've already taught you how to do it and remember guys don't use this information to scam people so don't use this information like for example you sell your account and since you are the real owner of the account you have all this information you email to bandai asking for the account back and getting back the account with the money that you obtain from your purchaser so that is a really bad scam guys and the reason why i'm telling this is of course for you for those of you who always buy account to be careful because your seller can easily get back their account if they email bandai and provide all this information so be care careful whenever you trade or whenever you are involved in a, uh, uh, buying and selling account because getting your account back is easy sorry yeah because uh, uh the real owner can get back their account easily okay so use this information wisely i don't teach you how to scam i teach you 
how to get back your account and uh, that's it from big p if you like this video do like this video if you find this information helpful do share it to your friends and please subscribe to the channel paradox needs some help well please give him some help yeah big p signing off